Hello everybody, and welcome to a brand new RimWorld series. This is Illithid Inn. A bit more of a relaxed series, but one with some interesting new mechanics that I am eager to play with. So, first and foremost, the big important one. We are playing with the Empire mod. Uh, my good friend, Gurk Roleplay, I'll put a link to his channel in the comments, uh, espoused to me all the cool shit you could do with this mod, so... I had to throw it in here. Secondly, I'd like you to meet our two colonists. Uh, would you guys come to the front, please? Now, this here is Alex. Don't call him Alex. His name is Alexander. And he is an Illithid, or a Mind Flayer. I'm sure you guys have played Baldur's Gate 3, or at least know what it is. If not, they're weird... Squid-faced, or supposed to be squid-faced, tentacle people, I think. I think it's uh, NL facial animations that overrides that. I don't know. Either way, purple dude eats brains, is a psychic. And this is his wife, Franguva. Just call her Fran. It's much easier. These two met by chance, and it was sort of like an odd couple relationship. Alex here... He's a refined man, one of royalty. He was not quite connected to the Illithid Hive and was therefore shunned by his brothers and sisters. However, he's a bit of a human weeaboo. He found a great deal of interest in human nobility and royal culture, wanting nothing more than to found his own empire. However, times are changing. The world is industrializing. The king is no longer the sole power in the world. The merchants and traders have their own, for lack of a better word, empires. So, being a, a smart guy, like, holy crap, a smart guy, he decided, why not make the best of both worlds? Set out on his own to found not only a kingdom, but also a business. To be like the merchant kings of the new era. Now... He's rather interested in the finer sides of life. He's skilled with cooking, the arts, conversation, and the sciences. He is, however, um, rather arrogant and refuses to do any dumb labor, seeing it as beneath him. That, uh, he's also beautiful, has a great memory, and is charismatic. I would assume the great memory is from eating all of the brains. That is where he met his betrothed, Risa Franguva, or Fran. Now, while not quite on his level, he came to appreciate her kind soul and industrious nature, as well as her various passions and things he was interested in. These two decided to found a business empire together. For reasons. Because that's what you do on your honeymoon. Now, the world they live in is... Think of it like a fantasy RPG... A century or two later, we have things like elves, undead, various uh, people with animal ears that are somehow considered different races. However, we also have electricity, steam engines, uh, sort of a Great War era tech level. Uh, I really wanted this to be diesel punk, but nobody cares enough about diesel punk like I do, so there aren't many mods for it. I think I found like one diesel punk style mod. So, this is sort of like a, a Great War minus the Great War time period. Now, the Empire, self-explanatory, found settlements, collect tithes, be a ruler, and uh, just for reference, with the Cortex Kingdom, our faction title is Empire, because I didn't know where that uh, came into play. We're sort of like the uh, enlightened monarchs of the, of the Enlightenment era. We're feudal, but we're also egalitarian. Mr. Alexander over here doesn't really care whose brains he eats. You know, you're all the same inside the skull. However, we are also playing with gastronomy, hospitality, and the tenants mod, which I have never touched before. This menu does not open because we don't have any tenants. This is gonna be a learning experience. Hopefully there's something new in here you guys enjoy, and hopefully this is as fun as I think it's going to be. So, 
without much dawdling or spoiling anything new. Let's get building. Now, oh yeah, I should mention, our ideology, cortical code, we're industrial, you know, we're founding a business. Our society obviously values hard work. We're traders. He's a merchant king. You know, some trading is probably important. And we're city builders. While we are founding an empire, first and foremost, we're building a city, an inn, and a business. Now, where do we want to start our base? I would say... Hmm... I'll just do a big rectangle, and then I'll uh, sort of plan around that. Wait, I picked a bamboo for us because I was so sick of last series. Oh, excuse me. Just not having wood. Let's see. Um, Because I have learned a bit. What I ultimately want is sort of a main hall that we can expand on and eventually just turn into kind of a central area. Oh, we do have Dub's Bad Hygiene. I also need to ensure they've got a bathroom. Let's throw this uh, off the side of the house, actually. Okay, look, the bigger one is for Alexander. And for floors... Wouldn't you guess this time? We don't have fortifications industrial. No concrete. Yeah, I'm as uh, devastated as you are. And we'll keep these distinctly separate. Oh, I thought I should undraft you too. Now, Alex here, he isn't going to do any dumb labor. This is uh, what makes this series a little bit challenging. So, in addition, I will show you my gameplay settings. Now, for storytellers, we're playing on Roddy Milden, and we're on Strive to Survive. I will change her if it's not... If it's not agreeable. But ultimately, I felt... Less big events and more minor things to deal with would help us kind of uh, build our faction a little more. So, let's see. I will, tr I will try not to bungle my uh, work priorities this time. Uh, we're also going to need more wood. I, ha I do read comments, and I will try not to pause as much. But uh, you gotta understand, this is just how I kind of play RimWorld. I'm always going through this just kind of uh, a few moments at a time, and that's probably why this always fe this game always feels like it takes forever for me. Now, we can also get a stockpile zone. Let me just throw that down there. Quick and dirty. Alex, what will you do work-wise? Yeah, you won't holler clean. You can research. Oh yeah, we've got archaeology too. I, however, have not played with that, and I don't quite know how that's going to work. Actually, you won't wait. You will warden. You're not a good doctor. You can be a doctor. You can do that as well. Oh boy, they are not going to be happy about this. It's going to take a while to get our base set up here. I didn't anticipate that uh, it would take Fran a little bit longer to do all the construction. Now, we do start with electricity. That we have. We have a faction power. Oh. oh. Okay. However, we have things like coal generators, steam engines, portable steam engines, industrial steam engines. I'm going to try and, try and lean on using those mostly, just to be uh, with the theme. 
So minor break risk, and that would be Fran. Why is that? Not enough buildings. Serious pain. Oh. Yeah, that's on me. I should have removed that. Okay, look. It's going to take a little while to get their home set up. But it's ultimately going to be worth it. Because it'll be a bigger home. They'll be more satisfied. Okay, uh, I also do need you to chop down some more trees. Let's see. I also need some uh, stuff from hygiene. Um, now, well... Our dear Fran is working on the house. Oh, Fran, yes, yes, please do those beds. We can chat a little bit more about what I have in mind for this series and moreover about the, uh, the sort of world I created here. Also, he has emo hair. Now, this may be, first and foremost, like a medieval steampunk sort of Great War, Great War era world. However, the advanced technology of the base game RimWorld still does exist. And I like to think of it as like a post-apocalypse enlightenment era. You know, the old world has collapsed, but a new one is rapidly approaching in its, uh, in its wake. Gone are the Wild West times of the post-apocalypse. And now, the new societies that have formed since then are sort of coming into their own. Rediscovering technology, forming societies built on more than just basic survival, and re rekindling that sort of aid that, uh... What's the word? That spirit of discovery. You know? This would be the set, <laughs> like, the third series I made that takes place in an apocalypse, so... Yeah, that'd be Ganzir, God of the Dead. Oh, a mad rat. Fran, if you would. Where'd the rat go? They're tiny. That's what that's their main strength. That's one of the things. I really do like uh world building for these series. That's one of my favorite aspects, is just like world building in general. We've also got dungeon entrance. With this we can get just about anything from the base game. It sadly doesn't work with modded items. Now we do want to give uh, Alex here one nice big kitchen. He's a man who loves to cook. I can relate to that. I like to cook too. I'm not too great at it, but I enjoy doing it. I will say, I made some really good tomato sauce the other day. Like some spaghetti sauce. I say the other day. It was several weeks ago. It's just kind of how time flies when you don't really have a job. And let's see, we also want to get furniture. I say that, but also... Time flew even worse when I did have a job. When you've got a job, it's like, oh my god. Days just go whoosh. Hey, a bolt goods trader. That was quick, and we do have a decent amount of silver. Alright, come in here, guys. This should help get us started. And we'll get a mood buff from trading. Who the hell are you guys? Kayum. Uh, you all mostly baseliners? You're a high mate. You're a genie. You're a dirt mole. We don't have alpha genes this time because I wanted to install some uh, some different mods for xenotypes as well as the big and small framework because that has some pretty good fantasy races. Let me see. Oh yeah, we do have loot boxes. It's a fantasy world. I wanted to make a joke about gotcha games. I'm, I'm really kind of all over the place when I'm designing these mod packs. I have a bunch of ideas. I sort of want to throw stuff together. Let's see, can we get your steel? We can. Uh, I will take some of your chocolate as well. Uh, 
Oh my god, now we have an excuse. We have an excuse to just start a farm. That is apparently something I've wanted to do for a while. And recklessly spend your money on loot boxes. Fantasy, fantasy gotcha, ahoy. Alex, Alex, stop. Stop eating all of the chocolate. Well, I don't know what you expected. All right, he's the, he's the ruler. He gets to open the loot box. Let's see, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Whatever that is, awesome. Wasabi, oh cool. I'm like a love-hate relationship with Wasabi. I don't know if I really like it or if I really don't like it. Uh, some more rare ingredients. Uh, I know Alex will appreciate this. Or Alexander. Sorry, my liege. 492 of a stone block of some sort. Six of a crushed stone of some kind. One wood log. Twenty-one of a wood log. One pebble. God damn it, fucking Charlie Brown, I got a rock. Fifty-nine fungus. Let's see, let's see. Come on. Oh, more wasabi, alright. I think it's a uh, stone. I think I just saw that. Yeah. That's another... What is that? We're getting absolute shite on these. Okay, yeah. That's all of them. So let's see. What's our final haul? Mushroom stalks. Crushed stone. Crushed granite. 492 concrete blocks? Hailstone? A lesser blessing, blessing given by the Revia Pantheon. Supposedly confers divine favor to the user. Oh, yeah, you probably have to be one of the murder wolves to use this. Whatever, it's, it's not that important. It's a shiny trinket. Alexander keeps the gets to keep it in his gallery and tell all of his like fancy schmancy royal friends about it. Friend, if we can get you to haul all of this crap inside. Yeah, good, good, good. Then get hauling this stuff too. They've got beds, they've got bathrooms, they've got a little bit of food. We can uh afford a little bit of dawdling. He wants a look change. Well, at least that's working somewhat as intended. Oh, sadly, no droids this time. Much as I love them. That does really make me want to do a robot playthrough, though. It never fails. I'll do one idea, and then I'm instantly like, Oh, but I've got a new idea. Alright, look at you go, Fran. A rather industrious little lady. I say a little lady, but she's like 50. Alright. We won't be eating without a table for too much longer. Now, speaking of war crimes, Alex may style himself as a sort of enlightened monarch. You know, uh, a lord knows best sort of guy, but he is still a mind flayer. I think you can uh, imagine where that's going. We're going to have some thralls around here. Probably running the hotel. In addition... Guys, if you've, if you've watched any of my series so far... You know I've wanted to do... <laughs> some manner of drug empire for a long time. It's going to happen. We're getting the drug empire going. Let's see, where's the well? I, I, yeah, water well. Oh, perfect. 
and then a little teensy bit of plumbing, just a tiddlywink. There we go. That should hold for now. This is really kind of a crappy house, but let's see if we can improve that. We don't have power yet, but and so what, what kind of do we have? Granite? No, concrete blocks. Oh, I see. Concrete tile. Let's uh get a nice tile kitchen floor. I do really wish I had started, uh, just kind of sprung for another colonist. Get some production going. I think, uh, first of all, we should get a simple research bench down. Alright, faction name. Give our faction a name. Hmm. I think I'm still gonna go with Cortex Kingdom. And our settlement. Ooh. Oh boy. What do we want to call it? That. That is a toughie. Okay, so we'll put this a little bit on hold. We're going to call it Illithid Inn, unless one of you in the comments thinks of something better. Oh, good job, Fran. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure your husband is a lovely man for making you do all of the work. It's not that he dislikes you, it's just beneath him. Let's see. More wood, please. Another colonist wouldn't be too bad either. Currently, Alex is just wandering around. I like to think he's just, like, daydreaming about what his, his, his estate and his empire is going to be like. Just thinking, ah, oh, yes. A grand drama hall over here. A pair of saunas over here. And I think right here, a statue to my honor. Yes. Yes, that would do quite nicely. Friend, what is taking you? I know Rome wasn't built in a day, but this is getting absurd. And she's just like, Honey, what's Rome? You're making up words again. Alright, uh... Hmm. Where's the art bench? Art bench. There you are. We do need to get some power down as well. I know I kind of set this up to run without it, but... Still. Okay, these pits aren't too full. So I guess that's not the biggest of dealios. I do, however, want to avoid just dumping the sewage off somewhere. On account of this is a resort, like a nice place to stay. I don't want to just, uh, have our poop dumped out somewhere on the map that people are going to see. I mean, if, what if you went to a Ramada Inn by the coast and you walk a ways down the beach and there's just like a sewage pipe dumping poop into a nearby, like, reservoir? Yeah, I don't think that's necessarily conducive for a good Yelp review. Okay, now we can get ourselves... See, this will motivate me to get some electricity going. Storage, storage, storage. I do believe... Yes, we have a refrigerator. However, it's kind of shitty because it only holds one stack. Well, we're gonna need to get on that power soon. What I'm thinking... Got it. Wrong one. I'm thinking we just go, kind of go, like, off the bedroom right here. 
Also, guys, uh, I hate to distract you, but this thing is gonna bug the crap out of me. Smash this thing. Oh, great. Great. It, it, it blows up into uh, slag. So we can go throw this, like... I'm stubborn, okay? I don't like changing my stuff. Call urgently. Now, let's uh, give it a look. How do these steam generators work? Consuming coal or wood. Must be fueled by hand. Are there many other ways to fuel things in RimWorld? There's a portable one. It's much smaller. We don't have enough steel currently. So yeah, we're going to go with the portable one, I suppose. I can't turn it. That's unfortunate. So there's going to be that. We're going to need some steel. Who's good at mining? It had better be... Oh, you're not. You really are not. No fuel, because we got no wood. However, we're getting there. One step closer. And for research, what do we want to do here? We do have a lot of medieval holdovers. You know, it's like the advanced technology does still exist. However... You're probably going to have to be pretty rich or influential to have it. So, here's the thing. What makes sense from a gameplay perspective? What makes sense from a roleplay perspective? What should we research? Oh, let's just do archaeology. That seems, that seems the most fun, and I honestly, I really want to get into that. Alright, looks like this is going okay. What do we have over here? Quartz. We do have gemstones. We have some fine jewelry to sell. And here's the steel. Okay, so we don't need a ton of it. Uh, the mistake I made last time, well, several times, was just setting too much to be mined. Yeah, I do believe that was in the Mechanicus series. Shit just didn't get mined. Alright, archaeology's done. Now, we have a little, uh, like a, like an archaeology room. Like a study. Oh, I like that. Alexander in his study. So naturally, we gotta build a, uh, aside from the resort, just like a grand manor for Alexander. It's a very nice place for him and his wife to live. Oh, wait. Wait a second. I can give you guys a double bed. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is rather concerning. Uh, Fran. Please mine some wood. Mine some wood. I don't think that makes a ton of sense. Uh, can you just eat the raw fungus or the raw wasabi or... I guess you can eat that. I don't know what that is though, man. Like, Maybe ill-advised. So, let's actually deconstruct these two things because we can get some more wood to make that out of. Oh my god, man. Imagine your meal is raw wasabi. And eating that until you're full. Dear God, man. This is already one of the rougher starts I've ever had in this game. Okay, okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Can I reinstall this? I can. So we're just going to throw this right on the side of this right here. Fran, please, please cut down some wood. Okay, we've got a table. We won't have to eat without a table, but we're not going to eat at all if you don't get fueling this generator. There we go. All right, now. Just cook simple meal. 
do forever. And unfortunately, Fran... Not wooden dining chair. I said Fran. You're going to have to get back on these trees. I know you're having a nice chat with your husband over there. That's lovely. But we need this butcher table. So you guys don't starve. Please, Fran, come on. Good, good. Now throw the rest into the generator. There we go, 3.6 days. Alright, now they're done eating all of this shit. He's a Psycaster. But we don't have Psycast expanded. Now, very quickly. Yes, wake up in the middle of the night and go kill a guinea pig. Oh, that doesn't last for very long. <laughs> it just kind of casually went back to sleep. Not to worry. Dr. Fran is on the case. You'd better be. And also, I'm going to need you to self-tend. Yourself. There we go. Now... Our friend Alex can do, or Alexander, can do one of his favorite things, and that is cook meals. Now, this guy's a great cook. At least I believe he is. Yeah, he's a pretty damn good cook. And let's see, mining. Looks like you're going to have to do that too, Fran. See, that's what, uh, that's what Alexander meant when he got down on one, one knee and said, I'm gonna make you mine. He meant literally. Ideologian forbids. It shouldn't. Uh, where would that be? So spouse only strict. Free. We're not backwards people. We're going to allow couples to sleep in a bed together. I know. Very scandalous. All right. Alex is probably going nuts in there. Uh, I should... I should get some power to the base. Oh! There's breakfast. What are you doing mining? Hauling steel. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. You know, I do like to think he's got a little bit of combat skill because he's a bit of an aristocrat. You know, he had some, uh, some fancy schmancy fencing classes or went duck hunting with, uh, the Duke's son or something, you know? Samurai Master Crafter? Oh my. Now, uh, one should understand... He is a man who enjoys the finer things in life. He may just want expensive shit just to have it. Hmm. Hmm. It's a, a good quality weapon. We don't have the money for it, however. Take one component. No. No, no. Damn it, give me the loot boxes. Wait, this, and you can have one component? I'm not parting with more than one component. No, well, then I'm not getting any more than two loot boxes. Let's see, what do we get? Boom, boom. 180 marble pebbles and tea leaves. Well. That's not exactly the best pull there. Let's see, uh, where is it? Where's power? 
you guys better not get pregnant too quickly, all right? I like I do I do not have I do not have the facilities or the expertise to take care of a baby. Moreover, what would that child look like? No settlements to tax. Okay, this is getting absurd. The hell is going on? Oh, you know, it might it might be the storyteller. It's purely a matter of they don't have many other events they can give us. That's why we've just been getting mad squirrels in trade caravans. Wait. You're from our faction? This is getting a little bit absurd. Well, you guys can... Are you Nephilim? You're a Malakin. Option act as... Messengers, huh? What do you know? There's a lot of a. Uh... You're an imp. You're just you're a baselander. You just look weird. Now, you guys. Wait, that's Alex's son. See, hold on, let's right click all over here, see if we can ask anybody to unite. Let's see, where are you? Do I not have We Are United? What in the shit are That's a butt. That is that is a butt. I should uh. Oh my God! What are? Holy shit! Okay. You know, I think we're just gonna. I'm gonna go good old Cassandra. You you had your time in the sun, Miss Milden, but you uh you went a little overboard. We do not need this many trade caravans. I don't even think we can buy anything from them. Well, Alex, you're home. Go ahead and talk to these guys. Alex, I said talk to them. All right, they're leaving. They left us a gift. Ooh. We can buy the freaky guy. Medieval arms and armor merchant. Okay, so... You're medieval, but you don't want hides. Isn't that like half of the economic backbone of your society. Alright, we'll buy the cheese. Okay, friend, you finish up there. We've got hauling and cleaning that needs to get done. We've also got this uh, illithid pod where we can birth new mind flayers, like... Our good friend Alexander. That's going to come into play eventually, but... For the time being, it's just going to sit in a room and look pretty. Oh, and there's uh, poop building up. Fran, if you could... You can do that, but also... Yeah, haul. Just haul. Haul it all. 
got things that need doing all over the place. I guess it's not terribly out of line. But it is rather distracting to have all of these trade caravans showing up. The alternative uh, answer is that... I was distracted by that person's name. I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. Friend, you can't just go for a walk. The tea leaves are rotting. Help wanted. Okay. Emlegroth 2 contacts you with a special request. Their fields have yielded far more than they originally expected. Really use your help with the harvest. Send a caravan with capable growers. Yeah, well, that ain't gonna happen. Dude, get out of here. Hey, you too, get out. Jesus Christ, man. I'm trying to have, like, a romantic moment, and all of a sudden you got thing one and thing two barging in. Like, hey, can we use your table? Dude, I mean, they've probably been on, a, on the road for a very long time without one. But at the same time, man, just suck it up a little longer. I know this is RimWorld, and eating without a table is tantamount to torture. I mean, still. Okay, these guys are leaving. More of them have not shown up. I think whatever it was. Yeah, get out of here. Big, you shit stains. You just ate my food. I can think of, I can think of no more grievous insult than to walk into a lord's home and eat his food just without permission. God, that reminds me of this dream I had this time. Hey, I will take the gift, though. Ooh, it's a nice hat. There you go, Fran. That's like an old-timey thing to do, right? To get your wife a hat? It came in, like, the hat box. Oh, God. Oh, God. Something is very wrong here. Oh, well, we'll trade with the loot trader. What's going on? Oh my, you've got some cool stuff. A Zeus a cataphract, Eltex vest. We actually do already have an Eltex shirt for uh for Alexander over there. Hmm. Hi elves. Our ideology doesn't really like slavery, unless they're aliens. Oh, you do have good stuff, but for the love of God, man. What is the meaning of this? Okay, quest available. Toxin clearance. We actually won't do this one this time. Ancient notes. Hmm. That's something to look out for in the future. Do we have a caravan spot? Like a place where we can tell caravans to stay? Tax spot. Oh, okay. I've had this problem with mod packs before. I don't know what it is exactly. And it's time for some more couples hunting. Isn't that romantic? Just go beat an alpaca to death. Alright, heal you guys up. Got exactly two meals for tomorrow. 
He's, just, he's only bruise. Uh, we're going to refuse until I have guest beds. That's going to have to wait. Bandits are spreading. The bandits have set up another outpost. You don't say. Let me see this. Palma. Minovia. Are these guys uh, spreading? I really hope they're not. We've got enough factions as is. Oh dear god. Get out of my home. I hate traitors for this. They just track shit inside your home. Probably literal shit in a lot of cases. Alright, well look, we're gonna make the best of this however we can. If you can't if you can do this, do that. And if you can't do that, do this. I just wanted to fuck my frame rate so hard. Ooh. There's more stuff we can do. Oh, yeah, 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 we do have smoke leaf industry, as I mentioned. It's been obvious for quite some time. I apparently really want to make a drug empire, so you know what? We're going to do it. I didn't think that said gray mandrill. Oh my god. Oh my god! What is your damage, Rimworld? At least everybody is happy. At least everybody is happy. I am genuinely genuinely going to have to look through the mod pack and try and fix this relationship yeah we do not have we are united okay which I probably should that's just a good mod to have could have gotten colonists by now This is just like, people just show up at your house, sit around outside, eat your food, and are like, hey, can we sell you stuff? I'm just like, no, no, for the love of, uh, fine, fine, yeah, maybe. You like hides? Well, shit, man, it's all I have. Wait till the drugs grow. Wait till I start getting silver from all of my, uh. My land management. Ooh, what are you? You're an orc, okay. What, you... Get your pig out of my house. Seriously. I've dealt with this before. I've dealt with this before in RimWorld playthroughs. Uh, the most efficient way to handle this is to just shoot all of them. So they don't send caravans back. Dear fucking god, man. However, uh, that would result in a very, very quick death for us. These guys, they aren't doing anything useful. They're tracking shit inside. Eating on my table. My good table. Oh my god. Get your muffalo out of my house. I will kill your pig. I will... Ugh. Buddy, I'm a chef. I will turn that pig into bacon. 
I'm sure he enjoys the conversation. I don't think he enjoys the goddamn cows. Oh god, now he's trying to meditate. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. The problem is I've never narrowed down what causes this problem. Get the fuck out. You can't even forbid the doors. They won't listen. Alright, if I trade with you, will you leave? I will give you a hundred silver if you leave and tell all of your friends not to come here for a while. Oh my god, man, we have like... We have like two silver. Five silver, yes. Nobility. How many sons does Alex have? Because I feel like this is the third time we've gotten a colonist who is like, son of colonist Alex, daughter of colonist Alex. Dear God, man. This was a smaller mod pack. I don't know what the issue is. Okay, everybody. That took a little while, but I think I fixed it. It was one mod. One singular mod, namely the uh, More Faction Interaction mod. Which, I don't know what the deal is. I feel like I included that in other mod packs and it didn't cause this problem. Um, forewarning, if I did actually do that, if I included that in a mod pack and it caused some kind of problem, uh, sorry about that. Oh. Oh, we can grow opium. Oh boy. Well, let's see, what else can we do? Uh, whole lilies. Those aren't... Those aren't too bad. I mean, I, they make the uh, Divine Grace drug for Nephilims. I have played with that... With that Xenotype before. Oh, hold on. Oh. <coughs> oh. A glass of water. I'm getting dehydrated over here. Oh, cotton, coffee, grapes, psychoid, hops. Uh, we have a smoke leaf expanded. Not smoke leaf expanded. Smoke leaf industry reborn. Or industry expanded. I'm not entirely certain. Tea grass. That's for paint, and that's tobacco. Okay, so we have some decent uh, stuff we can grow. We also have food. And we have settlements. That's that's another thing. Settlements can grow food. How do we... We gotta research something to be able to grow... Skooma and all of that. For now, I think it'd be most prudent just to plant some rice. That'll do us for the time being. Okay. Now, we can work on getting back some of that stuff we deconstructed. I do want... I want archaeology desk. Oh, I shouldn't get distracted. Doubly so, because this episode doesn't have too much longer left. Now, let's do some archaeology. I want to see it. I want to see what happens. Now, uh... Alexander here, he should do some art. He should do the archaeology. That sounds like something that would interest a guy like him. It's like a medieval noble noble who gets into intellectual pursuits just because he's like he's bored and he has the time and resources to learn them. Let's just do one. Go get yourself a rock. Let's see what's inside it. Yeah, we can trade with these, like, Roman guys. We have five silver. What am I thinking? Oh, what did he, what did he find? Nothing, I imagine. Let's... 
Let's pop this on do forever, see what we can dig up. There's a dungeon entrance, too. I really shouldn't get distracted with all this flashy new stuff. We gotta plant some rice. We do have meals for tomorrow. That's not a problem for the time being. Hmm. Actually, Alex, if you would, when you're done with that... Actually, no, just do it now. Just go trade with, uh... Scipiona's, or whatever her name is. There we go, we can buy some jerky. That you're just going to cook into meals. My guy! Do you just eat my jerky? That's the gift. 12 opal, oh my. That is a gift. <coughs> now this dungeon may be like overpowered or it may not be. I don't know. I've never used it. It does fit the kind of fantasy theme that we're going for though. Fantasy, steampunk, great war. It's all sound great together. I just wish, wish the mods were a tiny bit more cohesive. Dungeon upgrade. What do we need? We need 40 beers, 4 wake up, and 4 go juice. Ooh. Ooh. Random loot. Let's just uh, do this once. Hmm. In the meantime, Alex is sleeping alone because his wife has discovered dungeon diving. Okay, is that all the caravan's gone? We did get a decent amount of silver in gifts. We got like 300. Uh, the thing is, and I do need a research table, we ultimately want to get another colonist so we can start a, a new settlement. That's ultimately going to be our most pressing matter at the moment. You're probably very tired and hungry. Go ahead and sleep. Ooh, we found Jade. There are more gotcha mechanics in this fantasy game than I was expecting. Granite Ancient Hand Axe. Ooh. Ooh. I like cracking these open and finding things. Ooh! A Trepan Skull. So, for those of you who don't know, you can probably tell, uh, trepanation is the process of boring a, a hole into the skull to expose the brain for either medical or culturally significant reasons. Uh, I do believe trepanation was largely regarded as unsafe and dangerous by the wider scientific community, but there is a... There is a video. It was like lost media for a while of a lady who did an experiment and put a hole inside of her skull. For God knows why. Ooh, display case. Yes, yes, yes. You just get one of you here and here and here. Build the display cases. I need to show off my things. Okay, it's probably enough archaeology for the time being. I do want my display cases. In addition, we can probably get building more stuff too. 
I do want a guest house. I'm thinking like right over here, kind of. Across from the bathrooms, just kind of out of convenience. We can also maybe, I think we have one. Put a hot spring down right here. I don't think we have the hot springs, though. So yeah, there's a decent amount of loot to find here. Put that on the display case. We do need one more of these. <clears throat> I wish that uh, in showing your resources, it would account for what you've already got set to build. Alex just sitting around impatiently. You know, you're a smart guy. You could probably build a research bench. Instead of just, like, waiting around for your wife to do everything for you. Just a thought, my guy. And we do need to give you guys some sort of recreation. A shelf wouldn't hurt either. Provisional laborers. We only have one colonist that can do work. Like, I'm sorry, my guy, we can't help you. Ooh. Adds a bit of beauty to the room. It is apparently an awful room. And you know what? For the love of God, let's get some lights in here. There's an arc lamp. There's an arc lamp. There's another arc lamp. They're not very bright. This is meant to be the founding of, like, a noble house. Then again, everybody starts somewhere. Oh, that was fast. That's another colonist. You are a lesser Oni. Wait, Dwarven Grit? Hmm. Hmm, yes, you might be worth having. If for no other reason than to found an outpost. Yes, actually, I do think we could have use for you, my friend. All right, come on. Oh, he's got a gun. Okay, so Fran, go... Whoa! Carefully. Carefully! Oh my, uh, he's got some abilities, doesn't he? Come on, enthrall. You good, Fran? Do we have a room? Uh, we could just turn this guy into an illithid. 26 days to the next tadpole. Yeah, um, about that. That's gonna be a while. Let's just, uh, sleeping spot. Four prisoners. Alex, you capture that guy. Ooh, he did have some wine, a nice gun, more silver. And Fran... Run and heal yourself as quickly as possible. That's ultimately what's... God damn it. That's okay. Alex, don't be a coward. It's a rabbit. Your wife is walking home to heal herself after getting nearly shot and scratched with venom. Like, I think we know who the real champ is here. Like, who wears the pants in this relationship? Oh, hang in there, hang in there. Hang in there, okay. You're gonna be okay, friend. You're gonna be okay. Boom, just go take a shit and have a meal. The instant it's over. Well. Let's see. You always have an alcohol dependency. 
and he's apparently a thrall. Oh, I don't think that's how that works, though. Okay, so we still gotta recruit this guy. Oh, well, don't worry, man. There's a rabbit in there for you to eat. Is it Fleeb or Flebe? Oh, dear God. Look, at his, his eyes are closed. He's just sitting there, like, eyes closed, fingers to his temples, like, Dear God, my noble estate is a mess. Ah, oh, you need your bed rest, though, Fran. Well, look, we made some progress. Some of it. Not, not a ton, though. Yeah, not, not very much. Oh, I did fix the mod pack, though. That, that to me is worthwhile progress. And now we're going to research how to refine skooma. Get your sleep, you two. Also, yeah, grow... Oh, rice is ready. I do tend to get distracted a little bit easily, don't I? What I was going to say is... Oh, dirty house. Oh, dirty house. That, my friends, is where we're going to end the episode for today. I am going to try and rein in the length a little bit. Keep things a little on the shorter side. An hour seems to about be the sweet spot for episodes. So I'm going to try and keep things around there. Uh, give or take, it would depend. I'll say they, they'll be longer if we're doing something that necess necessitates that. But in the meantime, if it's just like this, we're getting started. I'm going to keep them right around there. In any case, wherever you go and whatever you do, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, I have been Retropunk, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.